never going broke. Plus I'm picky when I stroke. Oh, uh, shut off the package boat. Here's somebody say church, man. I'm cleaner than some soap. Ain't no reason why I keep buying expensive things. I'm pissed that I couldn't go to South Beach. All because of fucking Miami rain, man. But I'm stuck here in the fucking rain, basically. But it was, man, not only that, man. I don't even want to talk about it, man. That shit pissed me the fuck off, like, way, bro. I could have been, I could have broke a record. Vegas, Cali. And Florida, all in two weeks, but nah. Nope. Wasn't allowed to pull that shit off. Man, I could have still done it, but I'm in the corner. We do things calculated. We don't just do full of shit. Give a shout out to my... Man, we never going broke. Honestly, y'all, I don't even know why this is still a topic about who's interracial dating and this and this. But I must touch on it because, I mean, fuck it, it's a good topic. You know what I mean? The misunderstanding of why people think this and why people think that. I honestly think people deep down know why this happens. For one, who cares if it happens? You know what I mean? Just being honest. You might not agree. That's fine. I don't give a fuck about what people, who they date. That's just me, you know what I'm saying? But, 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 but. Let's be real for a second. So you're going to have a lot of people You're going to have a lot of people say, oh, well, it's the attitude. That's why they date interracial dating, blah, blah, blah. I'm here to clear that shit up, too. I'm, clear, I'm here to clear that bullshit up, too. The bullshit about it's the attitude. As if all these other races of women don't have attitudes. They have attitudes, too. That, I don't think that's why. I think, number one, you just have some people who are attracted to what they're attracted to. That's number one. Like, everybody's not attracted to their own race. That's number one. That's just the way it is. Nothing you could do about it. There's plenty of black women out here who are not attracted to black men. It just is what it is. What am I supposed to do? Get mad because they like what they like? They like what they like, man. So that's number one. Number one, some people are just attracted to what they're attracted to. You know what I mean? But the biggest thing I hear people say... And this is why I'm making this video. The biggest thing I hear of people saying why this shit happens is they blame it all on the black woman as if the black woman's the only woman that has an attitude. Yeah, I just seen somebody run off probably because they're not black and they don't want to hear this shit. The black woman's the only one that has an attitude. She's the only one that does this and that. That's bullshit. 
That's bullshit. Number one, I, I think it's because some of them black men just like, um, they, they just like other races of women. But I think the biggest reason why it happens a lot more than a lot, put it like that, because I feel like, um, out of all races of men, it's usually the black men who are dating outside. I feel like this is the number one reason. A lot of times when it comes to other races of women, the black dude is looked at as maybe like a 7 to 10. I say 6 to 10. He's looked at as like a 6 to 10. Opposed to the same black women who look at that same guy, now he's uh, one through five. I think because if you are not the top 20% or 10% black men, I think when it comes to a lot of black women, they're in this fantasy, this hip hop fantasy thing. So by default, you're deemed not good enough. As to a lot of other races of women, some of their... Their uh, fantasy is to actually talk to a black dude or something. So by default, you're, you're looked at more on a pedestal than the so-called black women will put you on a pedestal. So not only that, I feel like since that is the case, since you're looked at as more of a... Keep in mind the other races of women that like black men. Some of them don't like you at all. So therefore, you're not looked at as... Actually, the women, the black women who think you're one through five probably think you're more of a catch than the other races of women who don't like black men at all. They, you're a zero. You're nothing, right? But I think it boils down to this. Since the other races of women often, not always, but often think you look better than your own races of women, right? I hope y'all got that. Other races of women often think black men are more of a 5 through 10 versus their own races of women who think they're 1 through 5 right so by default you're able to attract better women of other races I didn't say the other races of women are better I didn't say that I didn't say they look better none of that that's not the key here the key is who can you attract the best so if a black dude can attract better looking races of women than he can his own, newsflash, this ain't rocket science. What the fuck do you think he's going to do? What would you do? Because there's a lot of black women who have tried to attract black men that they want and they can't. So they go after another race of guy that they actually like. That's what's really happening. That's why you see it. Now, when it comes to somebody like uh, Kobe Bryant or or all these high value black men, I don't know why they do it. They do it because they like the woman, I guess. Who knows? But really, they can. They you would think they would be able to uh, be. They're in the top twenty percent, so you would think that any black women in their right mind would actually think this guy is a catch. You know what I mean? But hey, maybe they don't. Maybe um, Brandy and other people didn't like Kobe Bryant, so he said, hey, this one likes me, so it is what it is. Just like when the women date out. I got a neighbor right now who dates a white dude. She's cool. Well, she's mixed, but still, she's cool. I could tell that she doesn't think I'm ugly or nothing, right? She's a nice person. She probably did try to like a black dude at some point. Didn't work. You know, people make a bigger deal out of this shit than what it really is. But the number one thing I don't like about this is how they try to make it seem like that black men interracial date because the white or the black woman's attitude and this and this and this all the black one. If you think that as a black dude, you're a dummy. You're going to find out that every woman has an attitude. <laughs> it's just that some are better at controlling their attitude than others. You know what I mean? It's just like levels, like levels to cheating. You know, some people only look at other women or men, but it's still kind of like cheating, but it's not the same as actually going to talk to them or whatever. There's levels to everything, right? But y'all make a big deal out of nothing. 
Some people, they just not attracted to the other per uh, their own race of people. That's just what it is. They not. For whatever reason. To me, I think it's more of a self-hate thing if you're not attracted to your own race of people. I'm attracted to all races of people, so it don't matter to me. You know what I mean? But I, I feel like if I don't like my, um, what do you call this? My genetic makeup. On a, a woman who has basically the same, then I just don't like myself. But that's not the case because I love myself. So how could I not be by default be attracted to women who are my same race? But hey, that's just me. I, I don't, um, I can't control how other people feel. But I do feel like this. I'm gonna say it again, and I'm probably gonna leave this shit alone. You know, unfortunately, when it comes to the black females, they're more attracted to. It ain't just black. I'm going to get into that for a second. But unfortunately, usually almost all black women, when they, the attraction that they are attracted to black women, men, it has to do with this thug image, gangster image, player image. If you're not that, if you're just a black dude studying rocket science, uh, it's not going to work for you too well. They're not going to be attracted to that. It's just the fucking truth. So if anything, if it has to do with anything with black women, it would probably be that. the What they are attracted to. That's why a lot of good black dudes end up with somebody else. Because a lot of the other races of women are cool with the black rocket science scientists. She still likes that guy. He doesn't have to always be the thug image or the player image or the um, gangster image. However... However, this is where it gets deep. This is where it kind of gets deep because even other races of women who like black men, a lot of times, this is the same exact reason why they like them too. So if we are to say, well, black women only like the bad guys, that's why they're not getting good black men. That's not necessarily true either because... I'm trying to tell you about 90% of the other races of women who like black men like them for the same exact reasons. I've made a video on this shit where basically as a black dude, you pretty much have to say, if you're not a decent looking guy like me, I'm not trying to brag. You know what I mean? If you don't have things like that going for yourself, nine times out of 10, even then, you still, nine times out of 10, you're going to have to have this gangster hood image bullshit. You basically got to sell your soul to attract a woman as a black dude. As a white dude, you don't got to do that. You don't have to have Jordans on and, and you don't have to have that gangster image and shit to be a, a, a deemed attractive. For whatever reason, when it comes to black men, it's been stamped on you that you have to have this persona or you're not attractive. You can't be the rocket scientist like Nick. And get a beautiful woman. Well, you can, but it's, it's slim. Put it like that. I don't want people to think that it's impossible. It's not impossible. Any smart woman who likes black men would not uh, X you out because you want to be a rocket scientist. That's just common sense. But it doesn't work that way, people. It just doesn't. When you're the black dude, it don't work that way. You you have been tagged with the, the gangster hood image, the player image, or whatever. And that's when, when people think of a sexy black dude. They think of that by default. So when they see you fucking being a rocket scientist, not smoking weed, being sober, shit, so you're a square, you don't qualify. That's not a sexy black dude to America. It's the fucking truth, man. And it don't matter if the woman's black, white, green, yellow, purple. It's the same fucking shit. They, this is what they look at when they look at black men. Most of them, the stupid ones, smart ones, they don't necessarily do that. They look at quality. They judge you the same way they judge all the other races of men. Because you think I'm lying. You think I'm lying, right? You think this, this video's cap, right? So why is it when a, when a, let's just say a black woman, why is it when she dates another race of man, why he can have on cowboy boots and everything? If she dates the white dude, he can have on cowboy boots and everything. Huh? Wait, hold on. How come he don't got to have the gangster image? See that? Because you, as a black dude, are judged a certain way. When they go and date a white dude or another race of dude, they don't make, uh, some of them might, but most of them, no. They go date a whole completely different dude. They don't require him to do none of that. But if you do these things, if you wear a Walmart shirt, try to holler at a black woman, it's over for you. 
Not all, but most. It's over for you. It's not happening. But the white dude, he can wear that Walmart shirt. He can wear the paint less shoes and she'll still fuck with him. You're held to a different standard. Let's be honest about it. So the number one question, why do they do it? Number one, they're probably attractive to them, other races of women. That's number one. But let's just say, for sake of argument, the real reason why they do it. It's because they can attract better women of those races than their own race. Does that mean those other women are better than women of their own race? No. I said they can attract. That is the key word. They can attract. Plus, you're dealing with like 12% blacks in America. Then you're dealing with 46%. You know how many more women of another race you're going to see versus your own race? And remember, ones that you want, a woman that you want. So the ones that you want of your own race, they probably already took it, right? The only chance you really have is to settle for something you don't want or to go to another race and get something you want. And that's what happens a lot. Not only that, the fact that a lot of the other races of women who they view as a black dude as a, a, a 7 through 10, a lot of times black women say, nah, he's not a 7 through 10. And that's just unfortunate. They, they, they psyche of what they're attracted to is unrealistic a lot of times because they are only stuck on that 20% man, you know, this rich motherfucker that most people ain't going to get. You know, the fucking Denzel Washington. Everybody ain't Denzel Washington, you know, and they don't want to accept that. Because hip-hop has told them that you deserve this. Well, the only way you really deserve Denzel Washington is if you fucking, you're going to be Beyonce, you're going to level up and be Beyonce. If not, you're not on that level, so why do you deserve that? But you can't tell them that, and I'm not even going to get into that. Let them stay delusional. That's their problem, not mine's. You know, I'm just telling you the meat and potatoes of why this shit be happening a lot of times. I'm also telling men that you're a fool if you think that, um, that, other races of women don't have attitudes and shit. You're a dummy. You're a dummy. You're going to find out the hard way that all races of women have attitudes and all this other, all the shit that you seen with black women, it's going to be pretty much the same thing with the other races of women too. I just feel at the end of the day, you could take a guy that is pretty much considered uh, a five on the sexual market value and he could probably pull a better woman of another race than his own race. It's just the fucking truth. Not saying he can't, but he has a better chance. He has way more better, not just because of them other races of women might be um, more subjective to um, considering this guy is more of a catch than them other races, his own race of women, but because of population. He's more likely to run into a woman that he actually wants of another race because of population more than he has a chance of running into his own. They're going to say this is bullshit and all this other shit, but they're just like the men who are delusional and saying that, um, you know, um, it's only a black woman with an attitude. <laughs> You're a fucking fool if you believe that. I laugh every time I hear that shit because I know better. I know better. No different than people saying, oh, I'm going to date another race of man because black man this, black man that. It's funny. It, it just makes me laugh. But, hey, people going to do what they do, y'all. I really don't give a damn why people date other people. I'm just touching on the topic. Everybody want to talk about the topic? I'm going to put my two cents in it and make a video. You know what I mean? But, frankly, I don't give a fuck. Date who you want. That's what you should do. Who gives a fuck? You date who you like. That's what it is. Plain and simple. You know what I mean? And if if races of women, if if races of if if my race of women and the women I like of my race don't like me, what you think I'm gonna do? Date somebody of my race I don't like? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna find somebody of another race that likes me that I like back. Plain and simple. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Why should I have to settle? You not see? According to you, I'm settling. Picking me would be settling. Pick a, and then and another thing that kills me is a lot of people don't even care about you know, who you date until they see you with another race of woman or something or man or whatever. And now they got a problem with it, but you didn't even want that guy. He's not even your type. He's the rocket scientist. He's not the hood image guy. You don't even want him. You're just mad because the guys you like didn't turn out to be what they should be. And that girl who picked a rocket scientist is happy. That's what it really boiled down to.
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wanted Pookie and Ray Ray, and she picked a rocket scientist. It's not her fault she's attracted to the rocket scientist, and you attracted to Pookie and Ray Ray. Go back and fix your attraction. Pray to God. Ask God to deliver you from being attracted to bullshit. That's what you do. Hey, God, I don't know why I like the wrong type of black men. Please help me like the right, right ones. Help me understand why I'm not liking the right ones so I can actually pick one to be with and not be fucked over for the rest of my life. That's what you do. Because I'm in that kind of process now. Like, yeah, you like certain things, but what's right for you? Make Help me like what's right for me. Because that's the only way you're going to pick the right woman as a man. You can say I want a model and this and this and this all you want. That don't mean it's the right one. You can find a woman just as attractive as a model, right? Now, maybe she might not be a model, but she's just as attractive and has way more attributes. Way better woman, way better mother, all that. You know, but some men don't look at that. Just like some women, they're stuck on a certain thing. I'm telling y'all, man, it's, it's a lot of women out here. I don't want a nine to five dude. Anytime a, a black woman say, nigga, I run. I'm done. I'm gone. I mean, if you my cousin, that's different. We not dating, you know what I'm saying? And I would tell her, like, hey, why you like them type of guys? Whatever. But anytime I hear that nigga this, nigga, I already know what type of man you like. And that's not me. I'm not 15 years old no more, sweetheart. So, um, yeah, we can't fuck around. It's not because you're black, though. It's not because you're, you're my, uh, I, I don't like my race. Remember that. But guess what? Same goes for uh, other races of women who date black men. Saying nigga and all that, I don't want nothing to do with you. The moment I see that toxic bullshit, I know what time it is. I know what type of men you like, and it ain't me, so therefore we not fucking around, right? It just is what it is, man. It's not just black women. You have many women of other races who like the same type of black men. They're getting the same results. They end up being broken up and... And the father ain't there and all this shit. The same type of results. Why? Not necessarily because this woman's white and this woman's black. It's because they like the same type of black dude. So if black men think, well, I get with the other races of women, it's going to be different. Not necessarily because a lot of them women like black men for the same reasons. They don't want the rocket scientist going to college right now. Nah, he's a square. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the thug act acting, the hood acting, right? The player acting guy. And unfortunately, when it comes to black men, that's why most women are attracted to them. You can be Todd and Jake and Luis. You don't got to be the player image. You could just wear Walmart shoes and a shirt and she's attracted to you. You think I'm lying? Look at black, most black women who date outside their race after they got Todd or Chad or yeah, Ch Tyrone. They go after a guy, like I said, wearing cowboy boots. Motherfucker got on cowboy boots. Try that as a black dude to try to attract that same black woman. Not happening. Why is that? Makes you wonder, huh? A lot of times, the reason why you're seeing a lot of women who like black men end up in a relationship that does not work is because of the type of black men they like it's not because his skin oh my skin made me uh made me not care about my kid my skin no it's not my skin it's it's my mind it's the fucking mind so if the woman likes the same type of black dude she gonna get the same shit whether she's dark as charcoal as white as that fucking sign over there she's gonna get the same type of a treatment because she likes the same type of guys period any guy think different, you're dumb. Any woman who think different, you're dumb when it comes to this. You better, like I say, you better go to God and ask God, why do I like these type of guys? Help me like the right type of black dude, white dude, red dude, yellow dude. I hear it a lot of times, I'm going to date another race of man. And yeah, and if you like them same type of men, you're going to get the same type of results. Don't matter if my wife's black, green, yellow, red. If I like the same type of woman or marry the same type of woman, I'm doomed for the same type of shit. No way around it. But again, since that's a little off topic, why do you see so many of them dating outside a race? Number one, attraction. Doesn't mean they're not attracted to black women, right? But the thing is this, who can they get? 
They can get better women of another race than of their own, meaning they like women of their own race, but they can't get them, and they're more accepted in the other the other races. So why would they settle for the women they don't like of their own race when they can get somebody they like of another race? That's just what it is. It is what it is, man. So in other words, like I said, I'm going to keep saying it for the people who just popping in. Unfortunately, a lot of times, I don't know if this applies to me or not. I don't really have too much of a only only time I have I see that there's a problem with me attracting a black woman is when she wants a hood image thug image shit. You know what I mean? But if it's a black woman that wants a solid black dude, I'm in there. I don't have no problem with that. They actually done with that. They grew up out of that little infatuation of little boy acting shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have a problem with that. The only problem, only time I do is when a woman's probably, her mind's not elevated, you know, past that type of shit. So she's still on that. But that's just me. That don't mean when it comes to all black men. I think the problem with a lot of them is they can't attract them for whatever reason. They can't attract black women for whatever reason because they're not the, they're not the 20 percent, basically. You know, unfortunately, with black women, they all want the 20. All women want it, but. You know, they not they not saying no to most of them. They're not saying no. Or they like the, the hood and shit, whatever. So what happens is, okay, no women of my race like me. I'm going to go over here. It seems like women that I'm attracted to over here, like I was attracted to them black women over here, they didn't accept me. But these women are seeming to accept me. Yeah, let me get one of them. So what happens is the man gets shamed and he, ah, he 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 ran out on his own. Now he probably tried to get with women his own race. They didn't want him. What, what are you supposed to do? It happens with black women too. It happens with all women. I'm sure there's some some white women out here who tried to get with Chad and he didn't want him. Fuck Chad. I'm gonna go get Tyrone. You know, what I mean, it is what it is, man. What are people supposed to do? Maybe it's not meant for them to be with um, their own race. How do you know it is? What are you supposed to do? Sit around your whole life? I'm a. I'm waiting for the the black woman to like me all my life. Meanwhile, I'm going to pass up on perfect women just because they're not black. That's stupid. I'm not doing that, and neither should you. Whether you're a man or woman, you're dumb if you do that, man. We live in a programmed society where certain women are programmed to like certain things. Oh, he doesn't smoke or drink. He's weak. He's a weak ass nigga. You know what I mean? I, I don't want a nine to five guy. I want a street nigga. All this shit is delusional thinking, ignorance. You know what I mean? And when them type, I run fast from them type of women. I speak my peace and I'm gone. I'm not dealing with no woman like that. Your mind's not elevated. You're still in the slave mentality. And that goes for all races of women. I don't give a fuck what color you are. Because you got other races of women, the same thing. <laughs> I need a street nigga. For what? Because you think he's masculine. Motherfucker faking the whole time. He faking the whole time like he's so street and so this. You punch him in the jaw once he fall. I'm 6'4", I'm this and that. I don't give a fuck how tall you are, motherfucker. Fake ass shit. Good at acting is what it is. Good at acting like they're masking it or they're so gangster. You know, but the other guy who don't act the shit and just be himself, it, he doesn't come across like that as much because he's not acting it out. So women fall for that. They fall for the illusion that this guy's more masculine because he says nigga every five seconds. You know what I mean? He's so much more masculine. This guy right here who don't want to smoke and drink and rocket scientist, he's weak. He's this and that. And that. Meanwhile, that motherfucker probably kickboxing champion. Knock that bitch ass dude out that want to be a thug off any in five seconds. But he's more masculine though, right? You know, you know how it go. Yeah, man, I'm giving y'all truth, man. Bottom line, man. Take a five that can't the the his his race of women don't want him. Go over there to other races. He's more like a seven, you know, something like that. But not always because you're still fighting. Whether it's uh, what color, it don't matter what color the woman is. When it comes to the black dude, you're still held to them standards of that fucking thug image, that 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 hood image, that gangster image. So in a way. It don't really matter. I just think it's because you have more population over there. So you get a bet. You have more of a chance. So a lot of them end up getting with one. You know, as opposed over here, you got 12 percent. 
And you're dealing with the thug hood image, all that bullshit too. Yeah, you're pretty much not gonna you're not gonna get what you want, what you would actually like. You know what I mean? Good chance. Uh, uh, good luck with that shit. So that's why you see that happen a lot. But make no mistake about it, them women over there who like the black men, they're doing the same shit. They like them for the same shit. It's the same fucking shit, same attitude, same, same everything. You just have a better chance because there's more population. You'll actually probably find one that you want to fuck with, that want to fuck with you. You have a better chance. That's all it is, man. So that's why it happens. So if you're a black woman, you mad and all this, maybe you need to check check why you like black men and maybe it won't happen as much, right? Or maybe you shouldn't feel that bad about it at all because maybe it ain't really you the reason why it's happening. It's a numbers game, right? And you're 12%. You're not even 12%. That's with the men, you're 12%. So you're less than that. And then over here, you got like 46%. So it is what it is. He's going to run into way more women of another race than you by default. That's just the way it is. And then if you want 12%, that narrows it down even more. Where's all the good black men at? Well, you only want 12%. You only want the 12% us a lot. So you might have like five of them in your city. If that. Yeah. Basically, almost impossible. Good luck. Anyways, y'all, I'm done with this shit, man. Let people talk to who they want to talk to. They're going to like people for why they like them. And ain't nothing you could do about it. Just understand why. You know what I mean? To me, I don't give a fuck why a woman likes this this guy or that guy. I just need to understand, you know what I mean, why she likes men. So I'll know if she really likes me or not. So I'm not her second choice or third choice. You know, she really want Tyrone, but she just fucking with me because Tyrone don't want her. You know what I mean? That type of shit. And that's why I say when I hear, hear the, when I hear women, nigga, 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 I already know I'm not your type. Don't even fuck with me. I, that was that 12 year old me, 15 years old, sweetheart. I'm a grown man now. You, yeah, you go over there with them guys, cause I'm not gonna say nigga every five seconds just to look cool. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it. I refuse to do it. You know, God brought me out of that. Why would I go back to a, a downgraded version of who I used to be when God made me this better person? It makes no sense. I refuse to do it. What you need to do is upgrade yourself and catch up. <laughs> Elevate your mind. You know what I mean? So you won't think because a man don't say, because if a man don't say nigga, he's not attractive. See, that's a low vibration mind of a female. You know what I mean? Any woman who is on an elevated plane mentally, I'm telling you, they want silent men. She might smoke or drink, but she probably really want a man who don't. More than likely, I've seen it so many times. What woman with an elevated mind is going to say, I want a street nigga. I don't want a, a guy that got a job or does a nine to five. Which one? Y'all tell me. That's a low vibration. No woman with a kid is going to want that. Dog, think about it, man. I'm not being funny. I'm being real. What type of woman you know with an elevated mind, meaning a mind that is more mature, is going to say, I want a street guy. I don't want a nine to five guy that's trying to stay out of trouble and stay out of prison. Nah. Come on, man. You know what time it is. And it's funny how them type of, I want this. Same ones that say nigga every five seconds. I, I don't. Man, I don't want to answer that right now. This is my job. I got to call them back. They, better, they know I'm not coming into work. You got me all the way fucked up. Anyways, I'll call them back in a minute. But yeah, man. Um. I don't know, man. It's just, it's it's funny, man. I couldn't imagine being a black dude without looks and, and money and all that. It, it's got to be hard, man, because by default, this strikes against you, man. You got to pre pretty much sell your soul to attract a lot of them. Not all of them. Like I said, women with elevated minds, you don't have to do that. But unfortunately, there's a lot of females who have not elevated their minds yet. So as a black dude, I'm telling you right now, if you want to attract them type of women, you're going to have to basically sell your soul or lower your mind to their their level, which is nigga this, nigga that, all that bullshit, all that childish ass shit. That's what you're going to have to do to attract them. And I suggest you don't because... You're attracting women on a lower level. Why would you want that? You want women 
with elevated minds on a higher level, grown ass women. Grown ass women see through that bullshit, man. You could tell a lot about a woman or a man by what they're attracted to. That is no cap. You could say all you want. You know, we all grow. We all grow as people and we learn more and all this shit. And plus, when we become better as women or men, we're more attracted to that. So you cannot tell me that you cannot look at any woman or man, whatever color she is, and say that you cannot kind of tell what type of woman she is by what she's attracted to. That's fucking facts. So, as a man or woman, just be keep becoming a great woman or man, and you will attract a great woman or man. It's by default. Not only will you attract them by who you are, but who you pick because of who you are. By you becoming a great woman or man, you're going to want that by default, and you're going to attract that. So that's all I gotta say, man. People make a big deal out of this interracial dating shit, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of it is they can attract better of a different race than their own for certain reasons. There's all kind of reasons why, you know what I'm saying? But that's just what it is, and it's always going to be that way. And it's like that with women, too, sometimes. And it's okay. Maybe it's not meant for you to be with somebody of your same race. Who cares? It is what it is, man. As long as you're happy, right? That's all that matters at the end of the day. It's like people want people to um, be with people they're not happy with and all this other shit. Nah, man. Just be with who you're happy with. But um, just make sure that um, you're actually happy with that person and they're the right choice, you know. That's where that elevated mind shit comes in. If I thought with a low vibration mind, oh, she got a big ass, she's got a pretty face, I'm going to pick her. Nah, that's more to it. Okay, she got a nice ass, she got a nice face. Let me see her mind, see how she thinks, how, how does she take care of her kids, all that shit. See, that's elevated mind. See, the younger me, oh, big ass. Big big face. Oh, I'm married. I'm marrying her. She's the one. No, I don't work that way no more. Elevated mind. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing with women. So a lot of women get accused of being stuck up and this and that. Nah, they just elevated their mind when it comes to men. You ain't going to just get me because you got tattoos and you're light-skinned and 6'4". Nah, I don't work that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's a good thing. These are the type of women that men should go after, but they don't. They scared. They oh, she's too hard. Now you want that because that means that every other man he didn't. He, it's just he didn't just have to be black and now her panties are wet. Nah, it took more than that. See. So you like if you guys have problems and things like that, you ain't gotta worry about her fucking another guy next week because he's black with tattoos. I'm fucking him. Nah, it don't work that way. With them type of women. You gotta you got really qualify and that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? It also means that they just been with every every single person out here, you know what I'm saying? They not virgins, but damn, at least they uh you have to have some type of qualifications to fuck with them. But I'm done talking about this shit, man. Bottom line is a lot of times, you know, as far as if 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 I'm speaking to black women in general <clears throat> on this, not the whole video, but this part. It's because a lot of them men that y'all think are threes, you know what I mean, fives and shit, them other women, see, they see special things in them men. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Nothing you can do about that. But here's the thing. A lot of times, if those other races of women like black men for the same reason that most black women do, they're going to like the same type of men. They're, they're still going to think the same way about the same black men. So it's pretty much like, at that point, it's a number game. You have 46 pop population, 46%, 12. More than likely, one of them women that like the same type of black dudes as you, they're going to get one. You know what I mean? Plain and simple, man. Mouth this bitch, man.